very good evening to all of you my children i hope you all are fine and following the rules which i told you in the last video right are you washing your hands frequently i think yes so today what are we going to do today i am going to tell you a story can you just see this book yeah so i am sure most of you must have read uh, hansel and gretel so today i will tell you a story uh, from this book okay can you see the picture can you see there is a witch and there are two children they are hansel and gretel is hansel she is gretel okay so this is a story of uh, two children okay and they stayed with their uh, parents so their uh, father was there and they had a stepmother and you know the stepmother was very cruel she used to force them to do household works uh, they were not told to study whenever they sat to study the stepmother used to shout a lot and said that uh, you'll have to do your household work all right so they were uh, leading a miserable life so one uh, night when the two children hansel and gretel they were uh, like sleeping they went to bed after dinner they overheard their stepmother telling their father that uh, you know we are very poor uh, it's very difficult to survive like this because we are very poor and on top of that these two children are there so we don't have so much money for survival so what you will do that uh, their stepmother told she told her husband uh, tomorrow you will we will all go together and we will leave these two children in the forest so do you think children this is good how the mother is she is telling that she will leave the two children in the forest and in the forest children there are wild animals so they can eat them no so when uh, hansel and gretel overheard this so they were worried that what happened you know hansel he went outside okay he went outside his room and he collected few white pebbles white small small stones he collected and put it inside a bag and kept it with him all right so next morning as it was planned by their stepmother they left uh, towards the forest then what happened uh, the father and the mother they told the two children that hansel and gretel you all please sit under this tree so they sat under a tree in the forest all right uh, they waited there for some time then as they knew about their plans they knew that their parents won't come to take them and you know what hansel had done with those small pebbles that he collected last night so as they were coming as they were coming from their home he dropped one one pebble on the way why just think why because they are small children no and uh, they can't find the way back to their home all right from the forest they can't go back home so they need some clue so now he knew because uh, the pebbles were there so he went he searched the way and he saw there are pebbles and he is going the right way okay so both of them they followed the pebbles which hansel dropped while coming and they reached home 
All right. Now they reached home. They went inside. When the stepmother saw these two children inside the house, she was very, very angry. She shouted. She yelled on the children. And she locked Hansel and Gretel inside the room. All right. Now they were crying. They were crying. They did not even get food to eat that night. What uh, when their father came back from work, the father just gave two slices of bread to the children. All right, so they ate that bread. And what Hansel did, Hansel was intelligent, you know. He was elder, he was a big brother. So what he did, he kept one slice of bread with himself. So next day again, they left out for the forest. This time, stepmother, she decided that she will leave these two children deep inside the forest so that they can never, never, never ever come back to their home. Okay. So what happened? This time what he did, he had a slice of bread. Hansel had a slice of bread. So Hansel, what he did, he just dropped pieces of bread on the way so that he can find the way back to home. So this time also the same thing happened. The mother, she said, wait under the tree, I will come. But she never came. And it was dark and these two children were frightened they were very scared so this time Hansel knew that okay I can reach home we both can reach home because he had dropped bread pieces but unfortunately what happened the bread pieces which he dropped on the way was eaten up by the birds Poor children, how will they go home? So what happened, you know? They just blindly, they don't know the way. They just uh, found a way and they reached a beautiful cottage. And children, you know, the cottage was made of chocolate and cake. All right, the, chocolate, the house was made of chocolate and cake cake. You want to see the picture of the house? I will show you. Mm, see this house. Can you see this house? The roof of the house is made of chocolate. And what did they do? They just took a took few pieces from the roof and they ate because these poor children were hungry. All right. But who was there inside that house? There was a dangerous witch. Okay. And the witch was also very clever. The witch wanted to eat these two children. So what did the witch do? The witch gave them food to eat. Gave the children, the children some food and some eatables to eat. The children ate. And uh, she also gave them a bed to take, take rest. So they, uh, so they ate something and they took rest. Then what happened, you know? The witch, she lighted fire in the oven. The witch lighted fire in the oven. And what she, plan she had? She had the plan to... Eat these two children. So, she was just showing the little girl. She was showing Gretel this oven. Okay. So, Gretel, she knew that the witch is not good. She will harm the, harm the children. So, what she did as the witch was showing her the fire in the oven, Gretel, very intelligently, she pushed the witch. Can you see how she pushed the witch? And at last the witch died. 
All right. Understood, children? Then what did they find in that house? That house was magical, you know. She, they found few precious stones. Very precious stones. Okay, very costly stones. And those stones were not just any ordinary stone. They were magical. Alright, so she just put it inside a bag and took it with her. And along with her, her brother Hansel also went and they searched and they reached their own home. So when they reached their home, what did they see? Their father was very happy to see them. The father was very happy to see the children, Hansel and Gretel. And what happened to the mother? Mother died. So what do we learn from this uh, story, children? We learn that uh, whoever does any bad to someone, whoever harms anyone, so ultimately God punishes that person. Like their stepmother, she harmed the children, no? She left them inside in the forest. So at last she died. God punished her. So we should never be rude to others. We should never ever think of harming others. We should always help others, be polite to others and we should love each other. Alright, that is how God has made us. God has made us, no? So that we are human beings and human beings have the quality of loving each other, caring for each other. Helping each other. Alright. If we do good to others. Then we will get back that. If we are doing something good to others. Then somebody else will also be good to us. And that is the motive of happiness. Alright. You remember this? Okay. Thank you so much.